Hello, and welcome to this U.S. Census Bureau tutorial. Are you looking for the number of people with a certain ancestry in a particular area? Are you even wondering how to get started? You can start with the U.S. Census Bureau and the ancestry data available through our website. The Census Bureau has statistics on race, ethnicity, and ancestry. For this tutorial, we will focus only on ancestry. So let us begin by finding out how the Census Bureau defines ancestry. The Census Bureau defines ancestry as a person's ethnic origin or descent, roots or heritage, or the place of birth of the person or the person's parents or ancestors before their arrival in the United States. Now that we have an understanding of how the Census Bureau defines ancestry, we can start our search for ancestry data. For this example, we will show you how to access statistics on Norwegian ancestry in the state of Minnesota through the U.S. Census Bureau's American Fact Finder data access tool. To start, go to census.gov. The U.S. Census Bureau main page displays. The census.gov site may have been updated or modified since this tutorial was published. For online assistance, please contact 1-800-923-8282. Select Data from the header line and click American Fact Finder. The American Fact Finder homepage displays. In the middle of the page, under Quick Start, type Ancestry in the Topic or Table Name box. Then, in the Select County or Place text box, type Minnesota. Now, click Go. The Your Selections box shows your search criteria and your search results page displays. Click on the Topics tab on the left. A Select Topics window will appear. Select Dataset. The dataset categories expand and display. The latest data comes from the 2010 American Community Survey, or the 2010 ACS. Select the 2010 ACS One-Year Estimates. The ACS One-Year Estimates are based on locations with populations that meet or exceed 65,000. We know that all states meet this criterion, so we are able to use the one-year estimates for Minnesota. Your search results refine to display only the one-year estimates data. In the search results box, you will find 14 different tables referencing ancestry. In the B, or base tables, there are over 100 ancestries listed. In the C, or collapse tables, there are only 30 major ancestries listed. To illustrate the difference between the B and C tables, let's use the example of Nigerian ancestry. For most states and larger cities, the B table would list Nigerian ancestry separately. For smaller areas where the estimate would be lower, the C tables would list those who reported Nigerian ancestry only as sub-Saharan African. From the search results box, check table B04006. We chose this table to reflect the number of people reporting Norwegian ancestry in the total population. The results page displays the table results. Note that Minnesota has a strong showing with approximately 840,890 people who reported Norwegian ancestry. Congratulations, you have successfully managed to find the Census Bureau's definition of ancestry. You also found the latest available ancestry data with the number of people who reported Norwegian ancestry for the state of Minnesota. For more information on ancestry data, please go to census.gov forward slash population forward slash ancestry. If you would like additional information on how to access historical U.S. documents and records, documents and materials on your family history, request military records, or educational resources,
please contact the National Archives and Records Administration, NARA, at archives.gov. This concludes this tutorial brought to you by the U.S. Census Bureau. For additional assistance, contact our Customer Services Call Center at 1-800-923-8282. You can visit us at ask.census.gov to chat with a live operator. You can also submit your questions through our website at ask.census.gov. The U.S. Census Bureau. Measuring America. People, places, and our economy.